Well, trainer Steve Asmussen is a veteran. He's the all-time leading trainer at Churchill Downs. He's also had 21 starters in the Kentucky Derby, the most of any trainer still searching for his very first victory in the run for the Roses. This year, he brings in Midnight Bourbon and Superstock. Ken Spencer is joining us here now with more on why this year it is personal for the veteran trainer, and this is the type of story that will bring in the sentimental wagering for a lot of people, but, uh, Kent. Absolutely, and generally, when you're a trainer with multiple contenders in the Derby, you don't have a favorite, but for Steve Asmussen and Superstock, this is also about family. After Midnight Bourbon went on his wild stroll last week on the backside, he's become the three-year-old stealing all the headlines at the Asmussen barn. And on paper, believe it or not, he's the horse most likely to break Steve Asmussen's 0 for 21 record in the Kentucky Derby. But the veteran trainer may be a little more attached to his other contender, Superstock. It feels like something bigger than you. Superstock! Superstock, who won the Arkansas Derby, is co-owned by Steve's 79-year-old father, Keith. It's my parents' story, you know, at this stage, and uh, just very um, excited to be a part of it. A moment they got to share in the winter circle at Oaklawn Park. It doesn't get any better than that. And to, to see your son successful at what he's chosen to do in life, there's no bigger reward for a parent. She's uh, an absolute angel and a special person and a human being that uh, is always trying to be happy. If she, isn't, if she isn't happy, she's fixing to be. At one point in Steve's career, he was actually his mom's assistant trainer. She's tough. She really is. I mean, she's she is the attention to detail human being. And uh, I, the success that uh, we've enjoyed, I think, is simply you know, growing up in the perfect storm. My mom and her attention to detail and my father and his horsemanship. I'm just uh, very blessed to grow up in those circumstances. And now with Superstock, they are all on a ride of a lifetime together. That's what family is, you know, I mean, you're, you want things for your family more than you want them for yourself. He's had a lot of great horses over the years, but maybe for Asmussen, his derby moment was just waiting for this moment and super stock. It wasn't meant to be, you know, so I think when we do win the derby, it will simply be it was meant to be. Pretty crazy with Superstock. Steve Asmussen's son, who's also named Keith, rode him for his first few starts. Ricardo Santana Jr. has them out in Derby 147. Well, Kent, right back to that video, amazing video of Midnight Bourbon coming right at you and our photographer, Nick Goldring, that day, right here as it played out uh, earlier. Uh, in the past, and by the way, this video has become the star video of this Kentucky Derby. When a horse does like this, a derby horse acts like this, it gets analyzed, and people try to read into what that means for their derby chances. So what are you hearing? Well, there's two different schools, right? A lot of people, they love the spunk, they love the fight. They're going to vote or they're going to pick Midnight Bourbon to win the Kentucky Derby. Now, the other one is, is how is he going to handle the moment of the walkover in front of that crowd at Churchill Downs, being saddled in the paddock area and then coming back out onto the track? I mean, you remember some of the horses, they don't handle that moment very well. Think Thundersnow. So a lot of people will automatically throw Midnight Bourbon out and not pick him to win the Derby. Well, you both uh, held your ground, and you didn't get up close and personal, at least. With I'm still Bourbon. here talking to you. What a delight. <laughs> <laughs> what a, it could have been a real souvenir for this derby. Thank you very much, Kent.